Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another stream. This is the Cal Monte Fisto. I know I said I wasn't gonna stream this week, but uh shit that I was gonna do today. I did like most of it. The rest will be done tomorrow. So I was like, yeah, let me just I got a little time, maybe like two hours. Let me just uh bang some more Tales of Fantasia out. It's a good game and we're getting uh we're getting further through the game. Anyway, what's good, guys? Hopefully everything's good with you. Hopefully uh, your Monday hasn't been so bad so far. Mine's been pretty chill. And uh, it looks like uh, this week won't be terribly stressful, which is also always really, really nice. Um, just a couple things on the radar that could spike off some stress, but it's looking like it's uh, pretty chill, so fuck it. Fuck it. We're still taking a little bit of a break from Dark Souls, obviously. Um, it's gonna be like a one week thing for a little bit, man. It's a long game, and I feel like if I do like two streams of that game too close back to back at certain parts, man, that shit can get a real f just fuck. Um, I was playing a little bit of Shining Force last night, grinding that shit out. Um, I also unlocked a uh, secret character. I was like, because I uh, fucking died. <laughs> I was like in the grind of just like alright let me just play safe and I'll play safe I put my uh, main character up front and then he gets like triple laser blasted I'm like oh that's what th that's what that enemy type does got it and so I was just dicking around town just like yeah like grumpily and uh, one of the signs if you like check out the sign which I thought I checked out the sign but I was just kind of like talking to people and shit for lore reasons and reading shit and uh, uh yeah I'm not sure maybe I didn't read that sign but still, we got a ninja, which is pretty cool. I haven't used a ninja yet. I'll use a ninja when we uh, stream that shit. Anyway, let's uh, let's dive in. Um, pause that shit, get rid of that shit, and let's dive in. Yeah, sorry, I already like kind of started it, kind of accidentally. Really, I was just trying to uh, check to make sure sound was coming through, and I hit the A button instead of the um B button. Oh, what's up, Marishards? How you doing? Christian got bonded. Yeah, I saw, you know, Empty post something, and I wasn't sure, because I honestly couldn't believe it. I was like, he didn't actually get bonded, right? Nah, this is a joke. That's crazy. <laughs> That's actually fucking crazy, dude. Anyone know how posted for Christian Western Chandler? What was his fucking name? I don't even know. Christian. Christian. The W stand for? I can't forget. Watching East 4 Part 1 and a lot of anonymous quotes were said by you. Talking about wall humping. But failed to wall hump Shining Force for the bikini. Um, yeah, honestly, I think I did actually, like, look up something. I was just, uh, kind of just curious and kind of looking up random shit. And I did see some words about a fucking super hidden bikini thing. Which, um... Yeah, it's, it's kind of like mind-boggling how many uh, secrets are in that game. They really wanted to have some replay for that game. Um, Shining Force still gives me a uh, a boner. No, um, Shining Force still was kind of blown me away by just how uh, much is in it. The only issue is with strategy RPGs in general. A little bit goes a long way for me. <laughs> you play one mission, it's like fucking an hour and a half to two hours of fucking gameplay. It's like, holy shit. Tales game to gay? Yeah. We're gonna be doing some, uh, Tales. It's a long game. I kinda wanna get through it. Um, I was just saying I was doing some grinding on, uh, Shining Force. Huh, interesting. Last night. Uh, I still need, like, one more grind session, but, um, it is noticeable. How I like just like two or three levels for the horses yeah, it goes a long way. But I'm gonna have to next time we play Shining Force, I'm really gonna have to like uh, be like, we're not playing as this character anymore. We're not playing as this character anymore. We're not playing as this character anymore. Cause goddamn, it's um, you you just can't you you can't fucking play as all the characters. You know you dick around in the beginning, but uh, man. See, feeling the burnout. Uh, from what? Uh, from which game? Shining Force. Well, Shining Force is fucking long, so I mean, I'm I'm very 
comfy and comfortable playing a little bit, taking a break, playing a little bit, taking a break, you know? <laughs> but did you get the miniskirt? Is there a miniskirt? Basically, everything is either named Chris or shortened to CWC. Weston. Weston Chandler. I knew it was like West something. A W-E-S. I kind of forget what it was. Also, man, that regen takes too long. That's what I was saying. Amerisharts was, uh, fucking, um, I actually think, like, East 4 is a better game than East 3. Fine. I'll, I'll fucking admit that. East 3 is a more enjoyable experience than East 4 because it's quick. <laughs> it's, it's over very quick. Anyway, hey, get out of my house. Who's this fucker? Your book's about the fortune of telling magical spirits. What do you think that art I sent? Oh, that shit looks cool. Uh, let me, like, double check the one just to make sure I, I'm thinking of the same one you uh, are referring to. I think I saw it at work, so I sound like, uh, I think I might have been shitting at work, literally. What the fuck is this? We announce our annual updates to policies, which are down in effect. Oh, new new policies on Discord. We're gonna have more uh, genders the third time. Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> Teal deer. Teal deer here. Teal deer, I saw a couple of his shits back in the day. I thought it was like very up his own asshole. Um, very much up his own asshole. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Goddamn. Why'd you send that one? Uh, 7.29. Okay, only an hour ago. Yeah, clearly I've not been on Discord in the last hour since I got hit by the fucking new policies. Yeah. I love it. We unilaterally updated the policies to tell you, uh, and you know, to have more control over the entire platform and to kick all bigots off of the fucking thing. How do we define bigots? Well, that's for us to know. You to find out, motherfucker. Oh man. Oh shit, this is a very pretty background. Did we fight a enemy here last time? I don't recall. They put a lot of effort in these backgrounds, they really have. Yeah, we're just gonna be like maxing and relaxing and uh checking some shit out. I like listening to his game stream audio. Alright, I don't think I've ever seen any of his game stream shit. I saw when he, uh, during, like, the Gamergate, I think. The Gamergate. Um. Ah, no, he kind of made, like, just generic stuff. But I think, um, his talking kind of reminded me of, uh... Fuck, what was it? Kraut and Tea? That guy? Once again, really, we're doing two things. We're, uh, oh god. We are, uh, grinding and we're also looking for treasures and shit. But, uh, clearly we need more levels if we're gonna fucking be able to withstand the Coliseum. Try the arena again? Just got here. No, I'm, I'm gonna go back much later. Um, that, uh, that last attempt from the previous night. Whenever that fucking was, or previous morning, I don't fucking know. You, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe yeah, that was at night. I don't even remember. But, uh, yeah, that kind of killed me a bit inside. When it's like, alright, here we go, and I'm a fucking rock. Oh, <laughs> you motherfucker. It's weird. It's like one of the hardest motherfuckers, or like the second one you fight. Hey, anyway, how are you doing today, dude? Oh, god. Oh, I gotta switch up my, um, my, uh, abilities, honestly. Oh, my dog. Being very cute right now. Actually, always is. 
Uh, let's see. His best one to watch was Dogs 2. Dogs 2? Like Sleeping Dogs 2? He had too much fun, figured it out. Dead people still count. The selfie side quest. Oh, Watch Dogs 2. Fuck it. How the fuck did I, like, miss a word there, dude? Watch Dogs 2. Gotcha. Uh, the Watch Dogs series has always been a series that, like, I thought looked cool, but then I would read the reviews and they say, people make it sound like, okay, it's kind of good. I like the idea. Um, we're gonna be doing... Even now, what do we want? I actually really like the Firebrand quite a bit. Fury Slash. Yeah, let's do something like that. It seems very good. Gameplay is good. Story is Noir, Schlock, and one. Woke of burning garbage in two. Yeah, like I said, it, it like the uh, the game always seemed like kind of okay-ish. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, everyone all every time I would read the reviews, people were like, "Yeah, it's alright." We don't think that's like immune to electricity or some shit like that. Yep. By the way, I think focus is actually a defensive buff, and focus more is the attack buff. Got it. I don't know, that's kind of weird. That'd be a hell of a thing to fuck up, but then again, it could be like in Pokemon Gen 1, where it's not even the translators that fucked up, but the coders that fucked up, you know what I mean? Uh, you also saw that a lot in uh, Final Fantasy 1. Interesting. I mean, I'll still use it. Uh, either way, uh, you know, good st higher stats are good. I will not uh, not complain. At least I won't complain much. Ooh, cool. Also, I should probably switch the sword. Um, once again, the spear is good if I'm using the. Uh, the infinite stab attack, a whole bunch. Who knows? I know descriptions were a mess in the Disgaea game I played. Yeah. Uh, which one? I've heard good things about Disgaea. Even though, you know, all y'all motherfuckers have probably heard my thoughts on Atlas RPGs at this point, but I still own the Disgaea games and plan on playing them eventually. Um, kinda wanna play some more entry levels in the genre first. Entry uh, games in the genre, rather. Damascus. Damn, do I really have that? Do I have, like, the, uh... Equipment on? I do. Okay, shit. Um, what else do I have on here? Uh, him. I can't, I can't even remember. Yeah, because I was looking at the, um, the, uh, fucking cat arms and cat feet, Uwudesu, and, um, it says it boosts defense by 30%, but it doesn't actually, like, at least on this screen, it doesn't increase my defense. But the other defensive increase, uh, one does. Oddly enough. Yeah, that one. Mental ring would be sick. Not that I feel like I need it, but, uh, do I need it? I might. Yeah, the Persian boots, look at that. that uh, it doesn't increase it here. But the blue talisman does increase here. Very strange. It might be a fucking bugged thing right there. Uh, just five. I thought about going to the older ones, but if I do another NIS strategy RPG, maybe Makai Kingdom next. 
Um, I still blame the translators for the focus and more and focus more mess up. Seem to have done a, la a laid back job. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the translators have done selectively a good job in like I want to say like 85% of the game here, like a really good job, and then the other 15% they kind of like go off the rails. Uh, disguise in too hard the story mode, which is what you're gonna stream. Um, I heard that like goes on and on though. At least if you want to do all the extras, but you know me, it's kind of hard for me to say no. It's harder to me to say no. Damn, ten percent of five hundred is quite a bit. I might just keep this shit. Uh, I do. I don't really need that much HP, do I? No, not really. Not for normal fights, but I might want to equip it for. Uh, the arena again. There we go. Alright, let's uh, keep on keeping on. There we go. Fuck you, slow. Hmm. It'd be nice if there's a run button. But one thing I should start doing is start doing a basic attack from far away. Because then he starts sprinting forward. And once he starts sprinting forward, then I can, uh,. do some funky shit with, um, well, like, holding R and right to, uh, then stop running back. Um, it's not the fastest thing you can do, but it's faster than walking forward slowly. Oh, yeah, the Willem Dafoe and Speed 2 face. Yeah, that's one of my, um, I've never seen Speed 2, but it's always been one of my favorite images of, uh, Willem Dafoe. Up, oh, goodbye, motherfucker. Yeah, even without the black onyx, we have. Assuming 9999 uh, max HP. More than halfway there. Looks completely fucking insane and creepy. Oh, dude, the Willem Defoe has always done such a good job with that. This fucking manic ass face. There we go. Get fucked, guys. You guys don't even get to use any moves. It's all me, baby. Alright, let's check out the top first, and we'll check out the cave system. God, they did such a good job with, like, the shading and background, and... Yeah. Uh, no parallax, though, with the background. I mean, that would make it, like, even cooler. Well, I guess that's kind of parallax, right? The foreground background, but like I mean, you know, multiple layers of background could make this fucking crazy beautiful. On top of being crazy beautiful, you know. A lot to like about this game. It is a very long game. Um, if anyone, uh, I guess, recommendation they want watching the feature on YouTube, or I guess the people here right now. Um. Uh, if anyone ever tries to play this game, I guess the PlayStation 1 version, that's the one uh, people who are in the know seem to recommend, but uh, definitely go in expecting a very fucking long game. Not a short game. Uh, gonna be uploading the last couple empty streams of Odyssey. YouTube is too unpredictable. Yeah, it really is, and it, it sucks. Yeah, I mean, it really fucking does. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm still going to upload my own streams to YouTube, and if I ever did... Like, 
have to upload to YouTube or Odyssey or some shit, I probably actually just would just stream on Twitch, honestly, to say fuck it at that point. Um, my, my brief interaction with Odyssey has been very fucking negative. Same with Rumble and BitChute. I think I still have my BitChute. I think that, um, exists. <laughs> my BitChute exists. But man, they like, it. I see BitChute as kind of doing the same thing that, um, God, what was that? DLive. The same thing that, that DLive did, which is they had something good, and they just kind of, you know, did not invest any time or money into it. They did not give two shits. Which is a fucking shame, because I, I still think DLive was a pretty fucking cool site. Uh, when I first started streaming, I was triple, yeah, I was using a restream to stream to three different platforms simultaneously. DLive, uh, YouTube, and Twitch. And then when Twitch was like, hey, we'll fucking let you have fucking, uh, what? Twitch Prime subscriptions and shit, and also give you, uh, monies for the fucking ads that we force viewers so even if you turn it off and uncheck the box, we'll still make, you know, every ten viewers watch an ad. And we'll give you those pennies, motherfucker. It's like, alright, right, fuck it. A lot of those video sites are crypto miners, yeah. Yeah, for a while though, um, I think, uh, as far as, um, streaming goes, I was doing better streaming to, uh, DLive than I was, uh, YouTube. Reverse doll. Really? All that for a reverse doll, huh? Alright, let's go left first. No perfect solutions, I agree. Seriously. It's kind of crazy though that um, a website centered so much on just a user base kind of doing video blogs and just, you know, uh, power to the fucking user and all that shit has gone into such an AI tech fucking Silicon Valley wrong think shithole. Amnethyst ring. Huh. Amnethyst. Why does that sound familiar? Yeah, I was why does Amnethyst sound familiar? Tell me. <laughs> Is it brown? <laughs> Fuck, I knew it. I knew it, you motherfucker. Yeah, sis, why do you gotta be like that? You gotta be so, so judgmental of women who might not be the most beautiful women. It's sad. Oh, let's see, where, where is that amethyst ring? A beautiful, beautiful amethyst ring. R.I.P. Fuzz. We'll always remember you. The wearer is shielded from water. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Just follow the... <laughs> it is well the smell. I love it. Wait, what's that, uh, amethyst ring? Or was that, uh, that was an aqua or marine ring. There we are. The wearer is shielded from earth. Water. <laughs> fire. Air. Earth. Wait, wait, what's it? Air. Water. Fire. Earth. Fucking magnets. How do they work? Oh my god, get the magnet ring. How are we doing? Uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 51. Alright, so let's go up here. Magnets work with a heart! <laughs> the, the greatest of the Captain Planet rings. Isn't it amazing how much, like, For the Earth shit was in the 90s? I mean, even, like, Final Fantasy 9. Or uh, Final Fantasy 7, I should say. Whoa, wait, what's going on? With them? That ain't poison, baby.
a... With like Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII's whole like center plot is, you know, we gotta save the Earth, Cloud. In the name of Allah, we will save the Earth and bomb this reactor. Part of the selling of the scam of global warning. Oh god, whoa, fuck you guys. Holy shit. Help me. These bitches are gangbanging my ass. And not in a fun way. Ah, damn, they were going fucking hard. Holy shit. Are we on our chicken? El Valtura. White mist. It's kind of cool how they like repopulated a lot of these uh, areas with it. Um, chests. Just to like, hey, you're probably gonna want to level grind anyway, so we gave you a fucking carrot and a stick. A little world carrot tied to a stick, whatever. Thank you. I appreciate that game. I really do. Put down there, down there. Yeah, nothing is uh, worse to me than games where it's like you have to grind, but there's nothing more to do. You know, there's nothing more to explore and check out. In checking out and exploring and getting all the items, you're still only like half the level you need to be. So at that point, you just have to walk back and forth, back and forth for like two hours, literally grinding. When I think of like grinding, grinding, that's what I think of um, in JRPGs. That horse shit. Glad this game does a decent job. Oh wait, I thought you yeah, switched out the um, Fury Slash. I can use Fury Slash for the other one. Um, I know Fury Slash, for whatever reason, sounds like Blade Storm to me. They're fairly similar, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's go down this one. I like how, like, the edge of my fucking sword disappears for a bit there. Sword show you come there. I left it down there. Let's go this way. Um, yeah, it wants a down leads to the actual exit. Then going up into the right should lead to treasure, maybe. Fury Slash is still one of my favorites in this, although he auto runs a bit too close in this version. Yeah, that's um, kind of my issue is I. It's kind of like a narrow um, hitbox. Like long horizontally, narrow vertically, you know what I mean? Um, and I tend to get canceled out of it a lot, so I haven't really even been use able to use it that much. I think I've been able to use it like once, and it does do a lot of, jo uh, a lot of damage. It's, I think some of the other ones are better. Maybe they uh, made better in the PlayStation 1 version. Or the great, great Game Boy Advance version, which I hear is the best version of all time. If it wasn't for the uh, iOS version, 
where you have to pay for saves. That was this game, yeah, where the, um, there's like microtransactions in the iOS version and Namco like took that one down. They're like, hey, this is, even for us, a little on the scummy side. Fucking attack! This fucking melts him. It's too bad they removed it. Now, uh, the next generation of our people will never be able to experience the prime version of Fantasia. It's weird how they like they released this game so many times, but the Super Nintendo and PlayStation versions, which are the best ones, were never released in America or translated. Which is weird, because you have um, companies like Falcom who are like, Hey, here's East 1 and 2. This is where we started. So let's re-release this game with fucking minor improvements a thousand fucking times. I mean, fuck, even uh, Squeenix does that shit with Final Fantasy 1, even though um, that's kind of hit or miss. They tend to cut out a lot that makes Final Fantasy 1 Final Fantasy 1. Like the uh, weapon, what uh, was it, like the charge, magic charges. Kind of part of the fucking game, if you ask me. Obviously, one you had that weird strategizing of like, uh, what what magic should I save? And and also in doing that, I, I find that like with the magic charge system in one, you can use your higher level shits for bosses, but then. Uh, you're still always finding uses for the lower level magics because you have those charges left over, so you kind of have to get inventive with it. Hmm. I actually like Final Fantasy 1. OG NES version. Um, there's a lot of jankness to it, admittedly. But um, a lot of people's like primary um, complaint about Final Fantasy 1, which shows that they did not play too much of it, is... That when you like target an enemy and then that enemy dies, the other characters targeting that enemy then just slash into the darkness doing nothing. And that's like the least of Final Fantasy 1's problems. Like, if you ever play Final Fantasy 1, man, I'm telling you. Buying 99 potions every time you're in town, one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. Holy shit. Hey, how can I help you? I'll take a potion. Okay, here is one potion. It will be 50 gil. Thank you. What else can I do for you? I will take one potion. Thank you. That will be 50 gil. What else can I get for you? I will take one potion. And I mean, it's, it's weird. You just kind of like zone out. It's like a fucked up version of grinding. At least you aren't bitter. <laughs> Uh, Final Fantasy 1 is an interesting experience. I, I would say it's, um, it's not the worst of the, uh, Final Fantasies. I mean, should I take 1 over 2 and 13 any day of the week? But it is quite a unique experience. But, but legitimately, I would rather play Final Fantasy 1 a million times. Uh, the OG NES version a million times over uh, Final Fantasy 13. That, that game really is fucking awful. Yeah, I'll always like watch a video on it where people like, you know, and dude, on YouTube there's so many videos that are some variation of, is Final Fantasy 13 that bad? Like, and even the defenders are like, yeah, it's pretty shit, but there's some good things about it. And I'm like, no, you contrarian dickhead. <laughs> There's nothing good about 13. Fuck you. I want to watch the cutscenes. No, you wouldn't even want to watch the cutscenes because the because the uh, characters suck and the fucking story is not that great. It's like an interesting concept, and that's it. What if there were two? 
fucking groups of gods and we were like their fucking slaves so being mindless sent out as chattel to kill the others that's that's the fucking plot that's it like an interesting question and that's like meant to uh, carry the fucking game for like 70 hours lightning is basically a cloud with sausage she has top quality armpit yes yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of her she is like such a stone-cold bitch I mean I guess she looks decent there you go I paid 15 bucks for 13, brand new it came out, I think I paid too much. But yeah, I remember seeing the images of, um, like, Final Fantasy 13 and GameStop where everyone was, like, turning that shit in. I didn't. I, um, fucking was, like, buyer's remorse. I'm like, well, fuck, I have to... I already sunk in 20 hours because, oh, this game gets good 20 hours in. 20 hours in, the game gets good, I swear. It's like, alright, well... I get 20 hours in, I'm like, all right, the game is not good. If anything, it's worse. So, uh, shit, I guess I'm clo I'm like halfway through the game, so I guess I'll, uh, fucking finish it. Fuck it. Maybe it'll get better. And it didn't, and I got more and more bitter. I paid 60 when 13 came out. The only person I regret as much as 12. Didn't like 12 or 13. 12, I didn't hate, but I didn't like. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, eh, it's, it's alright. Uh, 12 was too fucking weird. I had no. A form. Usually a huge red flag when a game gets discounted month after month after release. Discounts uh, discounted a month after release. Then here's fuck unlikable characters, alpha band system, and plot that made zero sense. Well, the plot makes sense if you read the uh, the in-game encyclopedia in full, because the cutscenes sure shit don't explain shit. Over here, nothing. All right, show me what you got, Chester. You might be too far back. Yeah, he's too far back. Yeah, I don't want to like switch everyone. I did still made zero sense. I think another issue, Gaseous of 13 Splot, right, is that it's spread out over so fucking much that you forget the fucking details. Uh, 13 just needed a full-on rewrite. 13 needed everything fucking redone. It really was an awful game. And you know what, like, honestly pains me? It, uh, like, I mean really fucking pains me. When people say 13 was their first Final Fantasy. Like, I didn't think it was that bad. It was my first Final Fantasy. And, like, A, I'm already mad because I'm like, wow. I have nothing to compare it to. It's like, it's like, I've never seen a movie before, but it, I, I like Batman and Robin. It's like, holy shit. Fucking opinion discarded, bro, but also... Just have your experience be that fucking game, as opposed to like... Yeah, I, I give seven shit. I still say deservingly so. I give seven shit. But like, I feel like 7 would be a good starting spot. As would 6, as would 5 even. 4. Fucking, uh, even, uh, even 8, hmm. I know 8's too, eight, 8's kind of weird. I feel like 8 would turn some motherfuckers off. That was their first one. 8 is a weird one, I, I actually defend 8. But uh, 8 is admittedly very fucking strange. Uh, 10 isn't a bad start. Yes, I'll agree with that. Yeah, Chester's too far back to really do much. But I, I'm too lazy like to rearrange my party.
But yeah, I um, but yeah, I defend eight, but eight would be a weird cross chart. Even yeah, even five, honestly. Chester's too busy talking with Chris Handsome. He's he's so handsome. Oh. Oh wait, come on, motherfucker. Getting at least a couple more battles here. He's just staring at mid all day. All right. Hey, there we are. You got a fucking kill. What's going on with uh, Chester's face, actually? Like, eyes closed or what? Like, his mouth is, like, very fucking high up. Hey, Chester gained a level. Alright, we'll get Chester up to level 30, if nothing else. I do like how I can do this kind of shit. Um, the only issue here is that, like, I'm all clumped together. The dude shot one arrow and missed. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like that they, uh... They gave you some option. I was saying last time that, um, really... Chester is there. Chester is in need of TP. Yeah, I had to run to the border the previous night. Yeah, Chester's there for, like, replay value, I think. But, you know, if you're playing this first time through, there's, like, no way in hell you're not sticking with these four. This is the world's largest port. Next to my pussy. Because ships come here from all over the world, Venezia has a very diverse population. She's saying the exact same thing. Holy shit. Fucking a Agent Smith fucking with the Matrix. Alright, we'll start off with the mayor's house. Oh, freaky. He's quite a pianist. Don't laugh, guys. I can't even talk to her. It's like, oh, wait, there we are. I'm practicing. Please leave me alone. See, Mario RPG would have the thing where, like, she starts to, like, fucking shake and, like, get around and be like, Get out of here, you fucker! I said, I said, don't mess me up! <laughs> yeah, I got him. Mario RPG, man, for, like, a first RPG, is such a good fucking game. I, I couldn't recommend that game more than enough. I thought they said his place was blown up. You know, you're fucking right. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you're fucking right. They said that this place is like fucking annihilated. It is purgatory. What well, side is she saying the same thing? Maybe. It's like an illusion, actually? Yeah, fucking, uh, dude, you're right. They, they were explicitly said this place was completely annihilated. Like, this place was like under fucking water. I was expecting to be like, was it, uh, Kilika? Was that, that the place Fav SC10? That gets completely decimated. The fuck? That's kind of eerie, honestly. The economy is failing here. Oh, maybe that's what they meant. Douse blew up the economy here. Yeah, Douse is raising the gas prices. They're putting little, like, uh, Douse gas stickers on all the fucking gas tanks. It's all Douse's fault. Did I tell you this already? I play Mario RPG just to criticize it for business enjoyment. Have you never played it, uh, I Gable? Yeah, have you ever played it? Uh, dude, I, it's, it's a fun time, man. Um, it's got like a timed, timed attacks and shit, kind of like, um, Fuck, what's that one, uh, uh, Legend of Dragoon? Yeah, I think kind of like Legend of, Gra eh, bleh, 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 bleh. Legend of Dragoon style, uh, attacks, which, I mean, I guess is similar to Paper Mario. But, um... 
Yeah, cute story, good characters, memorable places. Um, the only criticism I ever hear about it is for the isometric platforming, which I don't think is prominent enough in the game to really be a uh, complaint. You get used to it. I don't know. If your IQ is north of 100, you can figure out which way is up, left, right, and down in an isometric perspective. <laughs> I'm going to nitpick every single pixel and mechanic. Totally fair review. Well, I think they actually, um, I, God, there's something, I remember reading something that there was a, uh, like a second ROM chip in there, or a, um, fucking second, like, CPU to aid, because everything's, uh, pre-rendered Donkey Kong style, Donkey Kong Country style, and it's like a 1996 game. I don't know, there's a bunch of, like, helper chips on there, something like that. Uh, there's an island in the ocean completely covered in darkness. Is this Douse is doing? Oh, also, uh, the bitch who did the music for, um, uh, Mario RPG did the music for Parasite Eve, I believe, Street Fighter 2, fuck, what other, um, I think, like, her name's, like, Yoko Shimamura. She did a whole bunch of really good, uh, music. I think a lot of the Kingdom Hearts music. I only played Kingdom Hearts 1, because I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, but, uh, what else does she do? Uh, Breath of Fire, a Legend of Mana. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles? Radiant Historia, yeah, I mean, she has quite the, um, backlog of shit. Yokoshima has been composing a long time, yeah. But the uh, compositions of Mario RPG have, like, stuck with me forever. Like, really, really fucking good. Lost track after Kingdom Hearts 2. Too many games, too many systems to try to follow the dang story. Yeah, did they make, like, they made for, um, PlayStation 4, like, uh... Like, a plot synopsis disc or... Of, like plot synopsis game, something like that. Kinda crazy. Now in the ocean completely covered in darkness, Douse is doing. Every time I see oh. Okay. I actually just had an itch. Alright, my dog like just fucking got up real fucking quick. Kinda panicked me, but now she just had like an itch. <laughs> what do you want, girl? You're freaking me out. Oh, you're a good girl. Uh the other big female game composer is Michiru Yamane. I heard of that name. Um, what did uh, she do? Was she the one who did um, the Castlevania games? Uh, Symphony of the Night and um, b b b b Bloodlines. Uh, Luigi says there's time period in my childhood where I had an SNES pad with an absolutely horrible D-pad, where it needed to be pressed really hard to move. Moving straight diagonals as often as impossible. Still finish to play through Mario RPG even with that. that sounds awful. I mean, dude, <laughs> dude, that would be painful for me. I'd be so mad. Like, I don't know. Fucking, I don't know, maybe watching, like, a uh, Fight Club or something with, like, some blown-out speakers so everything sounds fuzzy and you can barely hear the dialogue. Lining up the cloud vines is the hardest thing ever. Okay, that is tricky. That's probably one of the trickiest parts in the game, is the uh, cloud vines. Um, every time I see the reflection in the drop canal, I'm finding how drop dead gorgeous I am. Someone's a bit self absorbed. I heard that deep in the trance forest, there's a village of spies and murderers. Oh, okay, around the elves, watch yourselves. They fucking know. They're well aware. The elves are evil, backstabbing pieces of shit that you should never fucking keep your eyes off of. Assume they're gonna shank you and fucking rob you. Even if you tried for 200 years, you still couldn't learn this recipe. I'm half elf, so I got the time to figure it out. Come to think of it, you look familiar. Have we met? Is it dinner, dinner, dinny ready yet? I'm starved. 
Yeah, kind of interesting. We haven't been to this town in 150 years because we never went here in the present. Yeah, the present time, we really don't do much. The present game in uh, this game is like a fucking tutorial, damn near. You have an appointment. Catering business is hard at work. Oh, we're gonna meet the uh, homies we uh, made fuck. I wonder what happens if you don't make the homies fuck. If it weren't for Elwyn selling so much in other towns, the entire town would be in debt. I heard they. Oh, do you think that's what it is? Do you think, like. See, that doesn't really make sense, though, right? Like, if you didn't hook them up, this town would be destroyed, but because I hooked them up, the town isn't destroyed? But here's the thing is, like, Dallas, you know, like, a good economy is not gonna stop a fucking crazy time wizard from decimating a village. Unless the crazy time wizards are after your credit score. Um, I heard they've discovered some amazing artifacts in the Moria Gallery. How is Alvanisa's economy doing? The harbor is closed. We can only train on this continent. Harbor is closed, huh? How hard did you laugh when you heard what happened to Linus? Oh, very hard. Dude, that dude is such an asshole. He really is. You know, it's literally piracy if you're using ad block. I need those pennies. I need those shekels. Fuck you. Anyway, here's a village. Or a village. Here's a video. He might as well have one in his own fucking village. Here's a video of my fucking second mansion I just bought with my YouTube ad revenue. Also, you're stealing from me if you use ad block. Fuck you. Elwin? Excuse me, my name's Steven. Wait, my grandfather's name was Elwin. Oh, wait, that was 150 years ago. Goddamn. Shit. Got to leave on business again. How old is Dallas? He showed up over a century and a half ago. This is a lounge. The boss's office is over there. A customer, please sit down. Got to make money. Oi. Gotta count those shekels. Something wrong? Nothing. You just remind me of someone. Alright, so we've checked out this half of the town. We just have the docks and the other side of town. The only thing you really need the boats for is to check out the uh, weapon and armor shop, which hopefully we can find something good. Oh, there's nothing there. Maybe we can't even visit them now. Yeah, that's uh, the shit's gone, the little gondola. Alvanis and Ymir are famous for producing great swordsmen and wizards. Yeah, interesting. Can't even uh, go over there. Oh well. Unless things uh, can buy, right? Oh, actually, um, if we are doing this. One of the ingredients of Odin. Thanks for buying some. What is this Odin? Fucking expensive. It looks like each town has one ingredient of Odin. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... Fucking eat a bunch of shit. And max out our food. There we go. Kinda have to do it, honestly. I gotta go to the store for my mom. It's a secret. Up, down. Oh god. Up, right, down, left, down, down, right, attack. 
to tell anyone, okay? I'm sure these are like really cool things, but I don't know, they seem like too much of a pain in the ass to like learn and memorize. A, -A, -A flight, the pirate chief, was killed in a great naval battle. May you rest in peace. Is that someone I fucking knew in the past? Oh shit, look at this down here. Is this new? I'm skipping class today. This might be new. I did this or I never fucking found this in the past. Crazy. Alright, well, let's uh, check out the. Um, I think I did check. This is the Southport, yeah? Yeah, so I have checked this out before. Um, hmm, I just kind of forgot what was the thing. Let's go to the weapon shop first, and the armor shop, then we'll check out the ducks. Uh, Damascus Glaive Sinclair, a well-made saber. And it's worse than what I currently have. 424. Wait, what? Are we sure it's worse than what I have now? Oh, the stab is worse, but the slice is really, really high. The Damascus is like an all-around sword. Glaive is focused on stabbing. Sinclair is graced on slicing. Um, I guess I could buy one, right? Oh shit, we got an axe, baby. That fucking insanely hard slice. Oh, we haven't used an axe in forever. I'll fucking use that shit. A light, speedy axe forged by the famous blacksmith, Damascus. I fucking put that shit. It's awesome. Yeah, look at that, that changes them around. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it would be nice if you could uh, see all of your different homies and what they have when um, you're equipping them. We can just remember to switch them out and like rearrange them when we're on the overworld map. You know any elves? No. Elves are beautiful creatures and they can use magic, but they seem close-minded society. Perhaps they really are better than we humans are. Look like humans, but have two long eighty ears like elves do. They can use magic too. If I say yes to both. Yeah, it just says Very chill, relaxing game. It really is, except when it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's down to some great imported items. This poster has some interesting story. There are three legendary weapons in this world: Thor's diamond ring. That's well, not a fucking weapon. Fenrir's vorpal sword. Always gotta love the uh, fucking Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland reference. And Odin's flame berge. Great book, by the way, honestly. It's fucking weird and out there. Uh, Mithril Plate. Wow. 50k. Crazy. He wrote the book for his girlfriend, Alice, who was a child. That is, uh, debatable. That's debatable, Gaseous. I've heard uh, many different stories, and none of them have been 100% confirmed. Uh, 
Uh, who am I missing right now? Oh, Clarth. Uh, I guess I guess we should uh, have him or um, Chester in here. <laughs> well, Why don't you have a seat see. there and uh, get comfortable for that? I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. You're just jealous because my girlfriend loves Alice in Wonderland. Not allowed to tell you about my girlfriend, otherwise I'll get arrested. No. It's just a joke, Twitch admins! Uh, let's see, Mithril Plate, Mithril Gauntlets. Massive Ribbon. Ugh. I said Gaseous never lies. I said that? You motherfucker. Oh, speaking of lying pieces of shit, I Gable, uh, even though you are a lying piece of shit, you might have been telling the truth about Blue being terrible. When I was grinding uh, out Shining Force the other day, um, I don't know, even after like giving Blue two more level ups, he's still hitting for one. And I've never stopped using Blue. I've had him in my party since I got him. I've been feeding him kills ever since I got him. So you really are just supposed to be dishing out like a one attacks by this point anyway. When you first get them, there you know there's still some enemies where you can get like three damage in, but it's still not much, and it just drops off. I I don't understand like at what point blue becomes viable because I hear that he does actually get viable, but that must be like when he's you know when you promote him later on and then he's like level 15 to level 20 then maybe but man that is insane that's like you're feeding him so much xp just to get like oh wow i can use him for a single battle because he gets his good stats after 10 promotion yeah that's what i'm saying though but by that point you have like what five missions left that's such an investment <laughs> that's an insane investment um anyway let's uh, equip these guys Love. Oh wait, really? Huh. Um, do I want that actually? Eh. Minus five to my j just just attack in general because you can't like stab and slice simultaneously. Minus five attack, minus five accuracy, increase in six defense. Um, I guess the defensive increase is fine. He's doing enough uh, damage. During his side, he becomes a beast. Don't need to level them to 15 unpromoted, just need high investment. That's just a very big investment, though. Like, a really, really big investment. Because by that point, there's not a whole lot of missions left in the game to really use them for. I feel like you might just be better off uh, sticking that same time to Am Amon and Bar ba Baboroy. Bartleby. Because they have better, um, you know, curves to their shit, and you can also hit them up with the, the demon swords or whatever the fuck they are. Um, fuck, it's kind of weird. Yeah, let's let's just keep it that. Ethereal gloves. Sorry, I'm already getting like sleepy and shit, you know. That's right, so a flat out increase. New forms. Watch out, Minford Chester. It is. Well, I may don't like him. I've used him a few times. Not often. Yeah. So I'm thinking of uh, dropping him, dropping Luke. Not because Luke is bad, because he's not. It's just uh, yeah. how many like walking death tank machines do I need? Um, I like the variety. So uh, drop Hans and uh, um, Lyle. Is it? And I kind of like uh, I like um, what's her nuts. I heard that she might be like Tao's sister or something. Maybe in the original, in the same way that um. Like, uh, Kane is what the main character's brother, that kind of shit in the original Japanese. Oh shit, I can uh, give this shit to, um, Chester, it looks like as well. It's expensive, but we can do it. You get a few ultimate gears, it's not like you can bring all the knights, yeah. So, um, ah, fuck, so who am I gonna drop for knights? Definitely Ken and Vankar. 
and uh, probably Arthur as well. Got, yeah, just just kind of like cut like maybe ten characters and just kind of rotate through the remaining uh, twenty, assuming I get all thirty, you know. Something like that. Need to throw a plate. Need to throw a glove. There we are. All right, let's talk to these guys. It's time for some great port items. We already talked to these guys. Oh shit, let's uh, switch again because Chester, I forgot, is slow and Mint is fast. There we go. Well, there we are. Now um, Chester can take a hit. I've boosted my defense. Archie has uh, gotten another bow, which is rare. Uh, let's check out the docks. That who your healers will be. Um, definitely not Gong. He's kind of a lit down. Probably not low just because he's boring. I mean, there's only one elk chick, which is Chris, so we're probably going to stick with her. I'm not sure if it's just my imagination or not, but I feel like she has better mobility. Um, but once again, that just might just be my imagination. It would make sense. Not like with the elves, how they can move better in uh, shady terrain. Right, that's probably who I'm gonna be talking to. Let's go to the other one first. Um, too bad they don't implement the Vandal Hearts, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Class, Weakness, Strengths. I kind of like that they don't, because I feel like a lot of um, strategy RPGs use that Rock, Paper, Scissors uh, thing. So it's kind of refreshing to play one that's just, you know, attack the fucking enemy. That's all there is to it. I think that it's, it's cute and simplistic. Many years ago, there was a pirate chief in AA flight. Back, yeah, clean this mess up. Rule the oceans until the country of Midgard killed him. Yeah, I feel like Midgard's the evil country. I feel like that's kind of what they're going for. I mean, they have, like, weapons of mass destruction. Gotta go for a Captain Planet thing. Due to all the recent attacks, Venetia's harbor is closed without further notice. Yeah, look at all the attacks. Uh, you know, it's it's like fucking war zone over here. God damn. Harrison. Fuck, who was Harrison? Oh, Harrison was the guy who came back in time, right? Oh, you're here. There's a slight complication. The ships can't leave port. Or no, he's, uh... Fuck, was he the guy who came back in time? I don't even remember, dude. There is a rock, paper, scissors, and shining force. You miss it. Flistron is all of them and folds anyone he hits. Oh, I was saying I Gable. That when I was uh, um, grinding, I did find uh, another samurai guy. I uh, don't know his name. I was just kind of like dicking around because I was feeling like, ugh. Because I had, while grinding, GG'd, lost half my gold, but uh, I, I gained enough levels where I didn't want to, you know, stay. So I saved with that. But um, yeah, I moved Flistron up a little bit forward. And then he got three different enemies using the laser blast on him in the same fucking turn. Oh my god. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's his name, Masashi. I haven't used him yet. I want to use him on stream. I was just like, um... I was just talking to people for the lore. And um, I, I thought I read that sign, though. I thought I read that sign already. But uh, maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Yeah, it's kind of like doing a once-over, talking to people, kind of picking up on the lore. It seems to be a very lore-heavy town, since everyone kind of reads up on the path of the ancients and uh, dark, dark motherfuckers. Yeah, that's a fucked up thing, though. I gables. I probably would have missed him if I didn't, you know, want to train on this mission for, you know, probably did like an hour and a half yesterday, and then uh, probably go end up doing another hour and a half before. Though so in between grind sessions, I've just been kind of digging around the town, but. Yeah. Go figure. Um, oh, you're here. There's a slight complication. The ships can't leave port. Gauss's navy keeps attacking any ship that leaves port. There's gotta be another way to Alvanista. I have an idea. If you happen to stop at Euclid on your way here, there's a research facility there. What kind of research? If we can't travel by sea, we'll travel by air. 
like, fly to Alvanisa? I'll explain when we get to Euclid. Alright, we're just fucking going, baby. This is the research center. Cool. I'm an emissary from Alvanisa. I need to speak with Dr. Livingston. Sorry, but you can't get in here without the proper ID. Look here, I'm an emissary with orders from Alvanisa's king. Alvanisa's king, eh? Well, this looks like Alvanisa's seal and the signature checks out. Well, what should we do? Let them pass. All right, you may pass. This is Dr. Stanley. Ah, oh, it's a thing. This is Dr. Stanley Livingston. Is Dr. Livingston like a character in some other fucking story? It sounds very familiar. I'm thinking of Ron Livingston. It's the guy who played a uh, main character in Office Space. Uh, the chief engineer of all our top secret projects. What are these contraptions? Ah, let me explain. These are machines I designed. I call them airbirds. They fly above the earth. If you can bring me the last thing I need to complete them, I will give these prototypes to you free of charge. Harrison tells me you need to get to Alvanisa. These airbirds can't fly far enough to reach Alvanisa. There's gotta be a way we can enhance their power. I have a theory. We'll do whatever it takes. The magical spirit of electricity, Volt, can surely magnetize the airbirds enough to power them up for distances even further than Alvanisa. I know of no one who can summon Volt. I have the capability to contract with Volt. I'm from 150 years ago, motherfucker. Can Volt do the same for my broom? I suppose it's possible. Airbirds operate on magnetic principle based on that of your broom. How the fuck does he know that? Or whatever. I, I for one, have no idea what any of you are talking about. So what are we waiting for? Don't be in such a hurry. I've created this ring to house such an immense electrical power as Volt. Uh, to be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if no one explained Jack and shit to, uh, Chester, considering... Um, what? It was like... After we had gotten... The, uh... What, the random elemental guy? Before Arch even knew... About where we were from, you know? Actually, let's read a uh, chat. Um, so I did talk to the sign. I remember I tried to talk to the sign, but that didn't matter. The sign only says something when everyone gets smart. God damn. That's crazy. When you first get there, it doesn't say anything. Weird. Yeah, I didn't remember it saying anything. Yeah, I was just kind of doing a once-over, and, uh... Yeah, I was like, fuck, maybe I missed it? It's w weird. I feel like it's kind of bullshit, honestly. I feel like they should have, uh... That sign should trigger it regardless, you know? Goddamn, sorry, I'm like really fucking dehydrated and sleepy. I was whacking off before the stream started. Don't be in such a hurry. I've created this ring to house such an immense electrical power as Volt. Really? May I see it? Of course. <laughs> Guess where this ring is going, Glarth? Don't worry, I'm a pro at this. Are you sure this will work? Of course I'm sure, I'm a genius. Sardonyx ring. Now Stanley and Clark are going to talk about all the things that their daddy taught them. Volt is in the mountains south of Miguel. Okay. Perhaps there's a shortcut in the caverns to the summit. We'll look into it. Mountain south of Miguel. I thought I went down there. In fact, I'm fairly certain I went down there. Uh, the wearer is shielded from wind. Gotcha. Captain Planet, baby. Did you find Volt? Volt lives in the cave south of west of the city of Miguel. Please hurry. With every moment that passes, Daos destroys a little more of our planet. Cool. So we're gonna get another summon. Which is crazy, because there seems to be six more, which is upsetting. Because that means quite a few more bosses to fight. Oh god, get out of my way, you fucker. Yeah, 
we already talked to these guys. At least they brought me down here. I form new packs and you get folded by a new summon before he joins you. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty fucking strong at this point. Goddamn. Have a little faith, bro. I am professional. Professional asshole. Um, who should I put the fuck away? Probably Archie. Alright, let's do this shit. It'll be a slow walk through. I thought I was a professional asshole in these parts. Oh my god. I will poke you to death with a fucking axe, bro. Oh wow, he's doing zero damage to him. Joke's on you, the ads with the vault all do petrification. Oh god, I hope- okay, fuck it. <laughs> you scared me, I fucking believed you, man. I would be- that's like the one thing that's- And I mean, in, in most JRPGs, petrification's game ending, but in this game, it's really fucked up. I think I told the story of when I first got to Burmese in Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, I mean, that was like one of my first game overs in a, uh, JRPG. have a level 30 Chester. Go give him a little love, a little attention. But shit, that that wasn't there before, right? That shit just opened up. Alright, let's see if we can uh, sleep free. I think we can. I forget where though. It's kind of interesting how you have the uh, axe, which has shit range, but an insanely strong slash and shit stab. And you have, like, a stabbing sword, slashing sword, all-rounder sword. Surprised you didn't go in when you were wandering there. No, I, I would've. Um, it's fucking weird, right? I don't think that was there before. I really don't. Because otherwise, I was definitely at that house, but I don't think I went in that cave, unless there's like a door or something to go in. Oh, fucker. Oh, wow, he just keeps whiffing, baby. You know what doesn't whiff? Full screen nuking spells. That shit does not whiff. Alright, let's uh, switch you out, Chester. Sorry. A little, little bit of time, baby. We'll get you up to like 35, maybe even 40 by the end of the game. You never know. Some funky music it is. You no, know, usually memory issues are for people older like me. Just some memory going already. <laughs> yes, he's also bust my balls for memory. I don't know, man. When you stream, I feel like you just do retarded shit. Because, you know, I've seen it as well. You know, you're watching the stream and you're like, how the fuck does he not see that? How does he not notice that? 
You're like talking, you're sleepy, you're fucking zoning out, trying to be entertaining. Uh, and you just do some dumb shit. Yeah, I don't think this thing existed before. Wind is nothing. We all come from the earth. Water is destructive. Fire is power. Holy shit, it's ICP lyrics. We're gonna talk about magnets on the next line. You see the axe is kind of chill there for a little bit. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Just found the weirdest thing, Goatsy. Um, apparently there's an anime-themed fan art of Commando. You know the one with Arnie. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Luigi says, "Yeah, watch some guys slide down the hill a hundred times on Mario 64 like a toddler on their backyard slide." It was engaged in the chat while doing so. Perhaps that is why. Well, the slide in Mario 64 is easy. If he was fucking that up. Unless we're talking about the one in Tall Tall Mountain. You know what I'm talking about? That one's a little fucked up. Oh, nice. Lavender. Lavender, baby. Strength by one. A uh, time to waste those on fucking Chester, right? And uh, oh god, where's the rune bottle? Many shits. Do you ever streamline the uh, room bottle system? I hope so. Oh, they're there. Baby, all right, 110. Time to kick some ass. You draw Bennett as an anime girl for some reason. Archie actually dizzy to dude with her broom. Man, she swings a mean broom. No, it's nice. Um, I've used them like when I have a weapon that heals everyone because I'm trying to fuck around with an elemental uh, ability. I like try to fucking surround the enemy with my uh, allies. They'll, they'll beat the shit out of them. It's pretty cool. Shield ring, life bottle. Creates an invisible shield around the wearer. Can anyone wear that, or is that just uh? Yeah, that might just be, um, Clark, but, uh, would I want that? Cause that's really good, and that's also really good. I uh, shielded from magic, which is useful. And I'm wondering if the... Invisible shield, huh? What the fuck was it called? Shield ring, yeah? Oh wait, dude. am I like fuck crazy here? Who the fucking equip it?
Or is it not called Shield Ring? I'm just zoned the fuck out. Yeah, it's called Shield Ring. Weird. Huh. Occasionally when I play, I put Archie above Kless's head and spam basic attacks. That's not bad. You have like a wall of offense. Fucking weird. Uh, yeah, do you guys not see that? Like, I don't see that either. I'm not like fucking crazy here, right? Don't gaslight me, motherfucker. Shield ring. Shield ring. A ring of shield. Where the fuck is it? Or do I use it in battles like an item? Picking the wrong slot, it seems. What, what slot would that be? Yeah, what slot would that be? Oh, shit! God damn! All right, what the fuck? That's a sh okay. It's literally a shield. All right. Um, who would I want to have that? Uh, who dies? Who dies a lot? Um. Well, here's the thing. If anyone dies, Mint can revive them. So I mean, we're gonna definitely put that on uh, Mint there. Fucking bizarre. And that is locked. Oh, wait, uh, that's locked, but did we go up? Fuck. Oh, this thing's fucking dead as shit right there. Alright, so I can get some more fucking uh, question mark items. Look at those much later. Yeah, we already got those. Okay, so uh, we got those. Locked door. Probably a one way. Up above is nothing. There we are, we can just spam lightning. Another fucking bow. Uh, you know, we're just... Once again, I find it's better to just hoard them. And then, uh, check some rune bottles later on. The hell am I looking at here? Oh, we haven't used the, uh, fucking ring in a while, huh? for a little bit. Why does she always use these spells so much? It's so fucking weird. Yeah, some of her spell choices is really out there. Uh 
How are we doing on levels? Not bad, level 54. Right. Here. G -g -g Grimoram, is that a book? I'm assuming that's a book. Yep, a book with arcane runes scrawled all over. Nice. Not that Clarth ever needs to attack anything, but hey, it's nice to have that as an option. And probably when we get to a uh, save point, we're probably gonna call it. Once again, this is always gonna be a short stream. I just wanted to just fuck around, really. Because the game's already long, so the only way we're really gonna get through it is to have a lot of little streams. But I also need sleep. Sleep is also important. God damn, that lightning is ridiculously powerful. Which is weird, because you would think we're in the lightning cave. And therefore they would be uh, absorbing lightning, but whatever. Who am I to think and shit? Also, I think the axe is just faster. You seem to be able to swing the axe very quickly in return for having, you know, not a whole lot going for it otherwise. Here, just like an empty fucking little area. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy 2. Um, if you've never experienced the uh, treasure doors of Final Fantasy 2, you haven't lived, or I guess I should say you haven't fucking died. It's, um, it's quite the experience. I'm highly amused whenever a character has an odd weapon choice in a game and somehow they come across a legendary version of whatever weapon they use. Eh. It should be a thing in like a fantasy novel, like, you know, some barbarian finds like a fucking legendary bow, but like doesn't really give a shit. It's like, ah, some for a shitty bow, like throws it in the trash or uses it for like fire the night. Gummy. Is this a, uh, hmm. I feel like that leads to where we were. That's like a fucking return back to where I was. I'm gonna assume that's what that is. Garfield has found God Lightning Lasagna. I think, uh, fuck, what was his name? Um, uh, Super Eye Patch. No, was it Super Eye Patch Wolf? Was, was, it, was it Super Eye Patch Wolf? Um, I think he did a good video on uh, the Garfield shit. But I do think Super Eye Patch Wolf can be a little bit, um, and just a little bit. To, uh, like, self-important in his videos? I'm not really sure. Like, too, like, uh, like needlessly overdramatic? Or, like, melodramatic? I'm not really sure what's the best way to describe it. 
Maybe some motherfuckers know what I'm talking about. Many descriptions can be assigned to him, yeah. I mean, I like his stuff. He makes good stuff. He's just, um... Yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, that's kind of his style, admittedly, but I will say that since he came around, there's been a lot of, uh... Fucking, um, imitators, well, not even imitators, oh, I guess you could say imitators, but people who've also tried to, like, I'm going to talk way too melodramatic and, and emo about my favorite game to show how much I've come on it and shitted and farted. It's like, are right, you, you just talk to the game, you don't have to make a big deal of it, bro. Reminder, he apologized after the joy George Floyd should happen. Well, clearly. Whatever dirty motherfucker in South Africa. Yeah, he needs to apologize for all the things he did here to us in America. Is that where he's from? He's from like South Africa or like fucking, uh, you know, West Stains or some shit. They all sound the same to me. I, I, I know he's Irish, I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> oh, shit. Interesting. Door there, too. Should have picked something meaner, like calling him Welsh. But no, I, I do like his videos. I just think he's like too fucking. He, he can he can get too over dramatic uh, for shit, needlessly to the point where he's like clearly hamming it up a little bit too much to sound sentimental. There's a secret passage on the right side of the room with the stairs. There's a secret passage on the right side of the room with the stairs. Okay. Should I go back to the room with the stairs? Or should I just try to remember it when we're leaving? Might want to just try to remember it when we're leaving, honestly. Oh, plus furry, this is true. Here we are. Hey, we got another level. We're gonna need these levels very, very badly. Shit, I might need to, like... Use some of those holy bottles. Keep these fuckers away from me long enough to kind of figure it out this puzzle. I like how each of the weapons kind of look different, how you're uh, using them with the uh, different abilities. Yeah, I can, like, crack the fucking thing open. Maybe I am supposed to go to the, uh, stair room. Alright, fuck it. We'll go back. Go 
God damn, they take some serious like fucking hits. There we are. Kick your ass. Right side of the room with the stairs. This is a room with stairs, right? Maybe they meant left side? No? Yeah, I thought as much. I don't think there's any other rooms with stairs, though. None of the puzzles in this game can be pretty fucking hard, honestly. Alright, let's use another holy bottle, we just picked one up. Oh, here's a room with stairs. Nah, fine shit. Yeah, there's really no reason to check the bows right now anyway, because they're fucking bows, so we can just give it to uh, him later. Hey, there we go. Ah, okay, okay. So we were supposed to do that. That is now electrified. You go down here. And that's still fucked up right there, got it. Got it. Okay, cool, we're figuring this out. Oh, too much shit on the screen. Super Nintendo struggling hard. It's like I'm playing Radius 3. Or any Capcom game. How are we doing on money, actually? Pretty good. 
Yeah, early SNES Super Nintendo games were uh, sluggish as fuck. Yeah, um, a lot of uh, game devs just didn't understand that you uh, couldn't throw that much at the Super Nintendo. You could do a lot of really cool shit, but, you know, too many sprites and it fucking chugs ass. Let me eat an apple. And let's eat some bread. I'll tell me it gives me a save point. No, there's more of this. Crazy. This Konami to include slow mode with Gradius 3. Indeed, anytime the game has too much shit on the screen for you to dodge. Ninety percent of the time. Yeah, it's nice. Otherwise, Grades Three is like a really good game. It really is. It's just the slowdown sucks. Still have your copy. Nice. I didn't uh, even get to play it until um, like the Wii Virtual Console. Oh, shit! Look at that. Emergency exit. Oh wait, this thing. Fucking uh, touch it. Do you mean that? Am I gonna like fuck myself by uh, touching it? Well, I have to know. Does a lot of charm and great music. Konami games have always had great music. I think I uh, went on record saying even though like Mega Man X is one of my top favorite games of all time. Same with uh, the Resident Evils. I think uh, overall I enjoyed Konami's games over uh, Capcom's games. I mean, yeah, why not have both? Was that an early? Uh, yeah, alright, that's, uh, got it. Alright, so that's a uh, emergency exit. Good thing we found that out. Here's a tough question. Which franchise is better music overall, Castlevania or Mega Man? I might have to say uh, Castlevania, honestly. Um, Mega Man, some of it can be too shrill. I'm looking at Mega Man X3. Whereas, um, I feel like every Castlevania has really good music. Uh, do they implement an optional emulated lag, like Tetris Attack, Pound the Pond, in later entries? Obviously considered for that part of the experience. Um... Oh, I'm not sure, you mean like on the Wii Virtual Console? On the Wii Virtual Console played like it was on the NES, so that would include the, uh, slowdown. Even on the Super Nintendo Classic, I feel like anytime I've played emulated Super Nintendo games, there's always been the uh, lag element. I feel like if it's been an option to turn that off, it's been in the uh, the options. Played on like PC, you know.
Alright, so we're back to where we started. Shit, that heals them? I mean, they're both flies, but uh, I thought fire did nothing or healed them as well. Found out today I got my community tab unlocked. Not sure how, I don't have above 500 subs. Oh, um, I also have that ability, right? Where you can like post shit and have like, uh, bah, 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 like polls and shit. Yeah, I also don't have 500 subs. I'm not really sure why. I think we have around the same fucking amount of subs on YouTube. But that is cool. I, I think they realized that it was cunty to try to, like, gatekeep that feature. So, a rare fucking instance of Susan not being a cunt. Secret on this floor. The rest is stretched out. It's totally illegible. Broken. That leads up there. Wondering how long it was gonna take before he noticed the fire brand healed them. Yeah, well also like electricity seems to heal them as well. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like any elemental heals them. Cause the uh, Skelly boys seem to get fucked. You have a one ident unidentified weapon. That's interesting. That means the other unidentified weapons must be trash, I'm assuming? Or I sold them. No, I think I actually sold them. Um, where are my rune bottles? I can never find these fucking things, man. Dragon tooth and short bow. Okay, those are short bows. Got it. They're all short bows. A sword made from the tooth of a giant dragon. Um, excuse me. Uh, it's earth type, but um, that is a really powerful stab. That is a really powerful stab. It's a shit slice, but that's a really powerful stab. Let's equip it for now, and hopefully, uh, Earth is good against electricity. I feel like it should. We do have Blade Storm. I'd love to see if I'm healing these fuckers. I'd love to see if I'm healing these fuckers. Oh my god! Alright, yeah, I am hitting them. Good. Although the slash isn't that great. It's just, it's just a stabby. But these are flying enemies, so I don't really have much of a choice. Dude, really? Uh, fuck me. Why, why am I doing lightning bolts? Because I love the challenge, that's why. Yeah, 
Yeah, if Volt's weak to Earth and I can, like, get him in the corner and do the stabbing attack, that'd be fucking awesome. I think you're that big of a masochist. <laughs> well, I am playing fucking uh, Dark Souls right now. I don't know if you know that. But, um, I beat Dark Souls without even trying first time through. Hey, goddamn. Do you need to have the jet boots there? I feel like you do. But don't get me wrong, I feel like you would have the jet boots by this point. I mean, it'd be crazy if you didn't, but still. Uh, having it mandatory kind of sucks. Downside is because it's a sword, you don't get a whole lot of range with the infant stabbing attack, but still, if you get him in the corner, it doesn't really matter. You have to get him really far in the corner. True challenge of Dark Souls is the Battle of Will. You truly lose if you give up. You can say the same thing about getting fucked in the ass there, motherfucker. Feel an invisible barrier here. Wait, what the, all right, weird. Fuck ever game. Sylph broom. Wind spirits enchanted this broom with their magic. Nice. Only if there's no goddamn common courtesy. <laughs> Playing any video game means that you are challenged mentally. And we're all on the spectrum. Otherwise, you wouldn't even try to capture all 150 Pokemon. That's a one-way door that leads there, and that's... Can't spend over a thousand hours playing one game without a bit of autism. This is also true. Here we got Clarth, uh, gaining the level. Uh, we pulled the one lever. 
triple barrier. This door's locked. Okay, shit, so we do have to go around the side. It probably opens the area to the left of the uh, battery thing. It seems like... What's that, water? Water and wind are where it's at. spells is meant to have actually just one that might be like an ultimate one that she learns through like story you know These like smaller, more numerous enemies. I might want to switch to slash, like to say uh regular ass sword. This again stunned. I mean eh, if I get full on this one. Not just that one. That might have actually fixed that one switch. There's a couple things you could have done. That uh, opened up a uh, new area over here, it looked like. Gain another level. Once again, we need a lot of these levels. Sand chance in that uh, one area. That opens that. Oh, more electricity. Longer uh, fucking thing. Interesting. Here, I'll uh, check a bottle real quick. And the game's throwing them at me. It'd be rude not to. Fuck. I fucked up. Oof. Alright. By the skin of my taint, baby. Alright. We did say we would uh, play to the next area. I just had to remember down left is where we came from. Oof. Alright. Um, I think that's enough for today. I do need sleep. Sleep is important, and I feel like we got uh, decent. We explored the rest of the um, the primary continent, not the largest continent, but like the starter continent, and we uh, figured out what we need to get to do in order to get the uh, flying machines. And uh, we're halfway through the electric summon spirit. So, um, thank you guys for joining me. 
Um, if I stream at all again before Friday, it might be for a grab bag, but I doubt it. No, I'm probably just gonna be working and doing personal shit for the week. Anyway, thank you guys. Hopefully you guys are taking care of yourselves as well. Much love. Thanks for joining me. Peace out.